all right you are welcome again today let's continue with the topic differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions now let's take a look at this question find the derivative of y is equal to arc cos 2s squared minus 1 find the derivative of y is equal to arc cos 2x squared minus 1 so here cos y is equal to or cos y is going to give us 2x squared minus 1 you get it so if cos y is equal to 2x squared minus 1 cos squared y is going to give us 2x squared minus 1 squared. I will take the square of both sides. I'm going to give us cos y. I'm going to give us cos square y is equal to 2x squared minus 1 in bracket squared. So now let's differentiate the function we have. We say cos y is equal to 2x squared minus 1. So if we differentiate this, it's going to give us minus sign dy all over dx equal to when we differentiate 2x squared minus 1 it's going to give us 4x so as we differentiated it gave us minus sign y dy all over dx is equal to 4x you get it so let's try to make dy all over dx the subject that means we're going to divide both sides by minus sign y if we divide both sides by minus sine y, we are going to have dy all over dx is equal to minus 4x all over sine y. dy all over dx is equal to minus 4x all over sine y. But you remember that sine squared y plus cos squared y is equal to 1. Let's make sine square y the subject. We're going to say that sine square y is equal to 1 minus cos square y. Then if we say sine y, not sine squared y. So that means we take the square root of both sides. So sine y is going to give us square root of 1 minus cos squared y. So in this place, in this half function, we have dy all over dx is equal to minus 4x all over sine y. We can replace sine y with this value we just obtained now. So if we replace it, we're going to give us dy all over dx is equal to minus 4x all over in place of sine y. We we'll replace it with square root of 1 minus cos squared y. But when we started, we said that cos squared y is equal to 2x squared minus 1 in bracket squared. So we can replace it here. So if we replace it, or if we replace cos square y with this value, we're going to have dy all over dx is equal to minus 4x all over square root of 1 minus 2x squared minus 1 squared. So here, 2x squared minus 1 squared is the same as saying 2x squared minus 1 times 2x squared minus 1. Is that true? Yes. So if we multiply this, if we open the bracket properly, we are going to have the wall over the x is equal to minus 4x all over square root of 1 minus open bracket 4x raised to the power 4 minus 2x squared minus 2x squared plus 1. That is when we say 2x squared multiplied by 2x squared in the next bracket is going to give us 4x raised to the power 4. And then 2x squared multiplied by minus 1 in the next bracket is going to give us minus 2x squared. And then minus 1 in the first bracket multiplied by 2x squared in the next bracket is going to give us minus 2x squared. And then minus 1 in the first bracket multiplied by minus 1 in the next bracket is going to give us plus 1. That is why we have 4x raised to the power 4 minus 2x squared minus 2x squared plus 1. 
So here we have minus 2x squared minus 2x squared, which is what? Minus 4x squared, okay? So now let's open this bracket. Still inside the square root. So we have 1 minus times 4x raised to power 4. It's going to give us minus 4x raised to power 4. And then minus times minus 4x squared. It's going to give us plus 4x squared. And then minus times plus 1 is going to give us minus 1. So here we have the world over the x is equal to minus 4x all over square root of 1 minus 4x raised to the power 4 plus 4x squared minus 1. Is that true? So we have 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So therefore we are having the world over the x is equal to minus 4x all over square root of minus 4x raised to power 4 plus 4x raised to power 2. So this value inside the square root can be written as 4x raised to power 4 minus 4x squared. That is, you divide 2 by minus 1. So therefore, the sign will change, okay? So we have dy all over dx is equal to minus 4x all over square root of 4x raised to power 4 minus 4x squared. Is that true? Yes. So, in this square root, we can factor out 4x squared in these two terms. If we factor out 4x squared in 4x raised to power 4, we are going to be left with x raised to power 2. Because when you say 4x squared multiplied by x squared, it's going to give us 4x raised to power 4. Okay? And then we'll factor out 4x squared in 4x squared. We're going to be left with 1. So here now, after factoring out 4x squared, we are left with x raised to power 2 minus 1. And then we'll put x squared minus 1 in bracket. Okay? So here... We have dy all over dx is equal to minus 4x all over square root of 4x squared, open bracket, x squared, minus 1. You get it? So here, you know, this function we are having is the same as saying dy all over dx is equal to minus 4x all over square root of 4x squared times square root of x squared minus 1. You get it, right? Yes. If we take the square root of 4x squared, it's going to give us 2x. So, therefore, we are going to have dy all over dx is equal to minus 4x all over 2x square root of x squared minus 1. Now, 4x in a numerator, we cancel 2x in a denominator. So, we're going to be left with 2 in a numerator. So, therefore, we are going to have dy all over dx is equal to minus 2 all over square root of x squared minus 1. So we can simply say that the derivative y is equal to arc cos 2x squared minus 1 is equal to minus 2 all over square root of x squared minus 1. Hello, dy all over dx is equal to minus 2 all over square root of x squared minus 1. Alright, yes, thank you very much.